Hey everyone, it's Tracy Martiran here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about salad dressing because if you've been around my channel for a while, you may have noticed that we eat a lot of salads in our house. And I'm not talking dull salads. We eat delicious salads packed with all sorts of veggie goodness and flavored with some delicious homemade dressings. Now, admittedly, if you go to the grocery store and walk down the dressing aisle, you will find a huge variety of dressings. And I love variety, but what I don't like is all of the additives, the fake flavors, and honestly, some unhealthy oil choices. It's so much better and really so much tastier to make something at home with your own ingredients. Today, I wanna to share with you my formula for making homemade salad dressing using five ingredient categories, more or less. When I decided to do this video, I had to think for a moment, like when I make salad dressing, what do I typically use? <laughs> I can honestly tell you, I never make the same exact dressing twice because I never measure my ingredients and I never write it down. I will have the same idea maybe of what I'm gonna put in a dressing, but it will never be exactly the same. So I started thinking, you know, when I, putting my salad together and I go to my refrigerator or my spice rack, what are the things that I'm pulling out and how can I categorize them into a formula? And I came up with five categories. All of them are not necessary to make a good dressing. I mean, really the first two categories I will tell you are acid and oil. So the acid is going to be like a vinegar or lemon juice and the oil well, it's going to be oil, like olive oil or avocado oil. You can make a delicious salad dressing with just those two things. Maybe add a little salt and pepper, but that's, you know, I've been known to make a salad and just drizzle some vinegar and then drizzle some oil over it and call it good. And as long as you have good ingredients in your salad, it'll still be great. But you can take those dressings up a notch by considering three other ingredient categories. The first ingredient category that I would mention after acid and oil would be sweet. Now, the first thing to come to your mind might be honey. If you think of like a honey mustard dressing or something along those lines, honey, I use a lot. I also use maple syrup. Sometimes I'll use agave nectar. I haven't had any in my pantry in a long time, but if I had it, I might consider using it. I also am a big fan of jelly or jam. If I have an open jar of jelly in my refrigerator, chances are at some point, part of that will get used in salad dressing. And it really doesn't matter what the flavor of jelly is. I have used strawberry jam. I have used hot pepper jelly. I have used orange marmalade. I have used blueberry. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used grape. But that's because I don't usually have grape. But if I did, I would use it. So any of those things. If you take your vinegar, add a little bit of oil to it. Well, actually, I don't add the oil until the end, but you know what I mean. Take your vinegar in a bowl, take a little scoop of a jelly, mix that in, then add your oil. There you go, a three ingredient dressing that would be delicious. But if you want a little bit more, the fourth category, I just call flavor. <laughs> and there's a lot of things that fall into this category. Mustard is probably one of my big go-tos here. Not only does it add a lot of flavor, mustard also helps sort of keep your dressing emulsified. So if you were using something that you're making an amount of, not just enough for your one salad, maybe you're making it in a mason jar and you're going to hang on to it for the week and use for multiple salads, then adding a little mustard just kind of helps keep it from separating. Mostly I use it because it tastes good. Other things in this category, soy sauce. If you want to make sort of an Asian dressing using soy sauce with some ginger and maybe some orange 
That'd be a great place for the orange marmalade, actually. That would be delicious. This could be just salt and pepper. It could be some herbs in your spice cabinet or fresh herbs from your garden. Anything that is just bringing just nothing but good old flavor, I put in this category. And the fifth ingredient category that I don't use often, but every once in a while, and that is a creamy ingredient. It might be adding in a little mayo or yogurt. Tahini is delicious. If you want to add a little creaminess to something that maybe has a little bit of lemon juice in it, lemon juice with tahini, delicious combination. You could also, if you have like a magic bullet or um, a blender or anything, you could take your dressing, make it in there, chunk in some nice ripe avocado and let that just blend all up in there. Also very creamy and delicious and healthy. When it comes to measurements, it really depends on what you like. I like flavor. So when I look at just my acid and my oil, I've played around with a lot of different combinations, but I usually end up adding more vinegar because I love the flavor. So in the end, I almost always end up with two to three parts vinegar to one part oil, but I like flavor. So if that's too much for you, then you just add more oil so that the mixture is a little bit closer to even. And then the other flavors are all just to taste. If you really like mustard, add a lot of mustard. If you really want this to be a sweet, like maybe you're putting fruit in the salad and even though you have like greens, maybe like spinach and strawberries, so you want something a little extra, use a little bit more jam than if you were wanting something less sweet. Use more honey, less honey. Use a whole avocado if you want it really super creamy. Maybe skip the creaminess factor altogether. If this sounds good to you and you want to experiment with some homemade dressings, I encourage you to check out my blog post on this. I'm going to link it down in the description box. In the blog post, I give you lots of ideas on different ways I would combine some of these ingredients to come up with a delicious salad dressing. So check it out and never, ever be bothered with that store-bought stuff. Thank you so much for joining. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.